Actually, mostly uh, YouTube. Um, I started off, and uh, I was actually in a singing competition, and my friends and family that couldn't be there wanted to see me, so I posted my videos on YouTube for them to see, mm -hmm. and just a whole bunch of other people started viewing them, subscribing, and, and everything, so it, it, it actually went fast. Like, I started getting like, millions of views. Right, it didn't hit you because you just put a few videos up, and then you probably saw it from 10. 100,000, 200,000. Yeah, it, it was crazy. And then um, we made our MySpace, and at first we just we just started off a little bit, and then um, we just like I would, my manager found me on YouTube, so um, he kind of contacted me. He flew me out to Atlanta um, where I met Usher, and um, Usher actually wanted to sign me like right there, but um, a week later I had a meeting with Justin Timberlake. And um, so it was kind of a fitting one between Justin Timberlake and Usher, so really couldn't go wrong. Right, so it's either Justin or Usher, and either one of you are excited, but uh, it was Scooter that actually helped, Scooter, helped yeah. and he, he actually found Usher Roth via MySpace as well, so he's really an internet savvy guy from So So Dead. But how did it feel to actually come to, you know, the mecca of, of just for your music, which is, which is from Atlanta? Was it the first time you were there? Yeah, it was my first time ever there. So, so um, you're from Canada? Yeah, from Canada. <laughs> it's a small town, Canada. Yeah. Right. And how did it feel to come to Atlanta for the first time and see these spaces? Maybe you've seen them on TV, but yeah, it, it was really cool because like I, I wasn't too starstruck, but at first Usher was like I grown up listening to him, so I ran up to him and was like Usher, Usher, I love your songs. You want me to sing you one? And he was like, Come inside, little buddy. It's cool. So I was like, He just shut me down. <laughs> but like a week, no, a week later, he got to fly me back down and I got to meet him. Right. So when you first met with him, did you actually perform? Did you sing You Got It Bad? Um, actually, it was, it was actually when he flew me back out, I sang You Got It Bad and Sex on my YouTube. Right. So he's like, he sings it better than I do. <laughs> out of all the singers, I mean, how did you first know that you had a voice? Was it mom that said, wow, this little boy can sing? How old were you when you first started? Um, well, I was just always singing on the house just a little bit, but um, it wasn't until I was about 12 that I entered the same competition. About 12, it was kind of <laughs> So I didn't really... I didn't really know it was that great. So, so you actually started winning competitions. I'm like, okay, yeah. so, so, so from 12 to 15, and, and now you're working on your first album, right? Your first album. Yeah. Yeah. And the single is called One Time. Okay. And is it something that you actually wrote with Usher? Is it something else you write with you? How was it actually working with um, you? It, it was actually, um, the single was written by Tricky and uh, the movement. 